All right, Officer McCain, what are we dealing with here? We got two armed robbers and three hostages. One of them, a security guard. My men are the best of the best. We're gonna get him out of there. Thanks, and good luck, gentlemen. This is SWAT. Release the hostages at once, and then come out with your hands up. We're not coming out, and you can't make us. Yeah, because there's like two of us and more of you. Shut up, Albert. You're not helping anyone right now. Yeah, sorry about that. There's no way we're gonna get in there. They're gonna kill the hostages anyway. We need a new plan. We're running out of time, Captain. We need a new plan now. Well, it looks like we have to go to plan C now. Come on, Captain. Don't tell me you're gonna call those two morons, are you? I have no choice. They're our only hope. <clears throat> Alright. They're on their way, right now. They're all yours, gentlemen. Okay, so I'm not used to being the hero in this situation, but if you don't let them go, I'm gonna cut your freaking head off. Oh my gosh, you're freaking Deadpool. I'm a huge fan of yours. Oh, it's a shame I gotta kill a fan. Wait, what? What you're about to see is my favorite part of the job. Well, this was the easiest payday of my life. So, what do we do now? Let's get some really good Mexican food. Taco Bell. Yo-ho, Jameson. Another job well done, right? Parker, Wilson, you idiots, you imbeciles, you, you menaces. Wow, you must be in a really good mood today. You sassed me, Parker. You know, I could fire you if I wanted to. Oh, yeah. By the way, in our universe, Jameson's our captain. What? If you had watched the original 90s animated Spider-Man series, you would know that he was a private detective back in the day. And you call yourselves nerds. It is because of your actions today that I've decided to suspend you both without pay immediately. Come on, man. Really? And I literally got no money in my account. I've been looking forward to this check all week. You mean to tell me that you have no money whatsoever? Well... Let's see if you really work. Wow, can't believe I'm alive again. Wait, what? Thanks a lot, Wade. Thanks for bringing me back from the dead. Oh, heck no. We're not going through this again. Yeah, you're definitely not coming back for any sequels. You mean to tell me you spent all your money on a stupid gauntlet and somehow brought Tony Stark back to life? Yeah, I was trying to actually bring back Wolverine, but we know that won't happen. Okay, we're done here. Get out of my office. What he should have done is brought back Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. Wait, you really let me down today. When have I ever let you down? Like that one time you stole my web slingers and you were swinging around in New York singing Wrecking Ball? I came in like a rainbow. Uh, that video has gotten 10 million hits and counting. Yeah, sure. Would have gotten more hits if it wasn't for that stupid Christopher Nolan movie trailer. Who the heck are you supposed to be? I'm the Hobgoblin, and I'm here to send a little message. Like what kind of message? The kind that will knock the lights out of you. <laughs> Nighty night, Spider-Man. <laughs> so you got knocked out by a Green Goblin impersonator? That's exactly what happened. I think I know a guy who can help us. Yo, Logan, my brother. Frick off, Wade. Well, on to plan B. So I hear you made cool suits for superheroes. Yes, it is what I do for a living. What do you want? We don't got a lot of time, lady, so can you make it or not? Yes, but of course, darling. Now, just follow me. Is it weird that I find her extremely attractive? Sure you do, Wade. Sure you do. Now, let us begin. Hey, Peter, how long do you think it's going to take her? I am finished. Now that was fast. Now, of course, is the time when you pay me. That looks like a really expensive suit. Let's just steal the suit and make a run for it. Your new suit will not stop me or your friend. 
in this new suit, I'll tear you to pieces. Let's see you try. Let's get him. What did you do? I went for the head. Now this feels very right. But why was it a bad idea when I wanted a cape? It's because it looks better on me, Robert.